Hello everyone, in today's video I will be talking about reverse stamping, so let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is coat the image you plan to stamp with your chosen color. Once you've coated the image in polish, you'll take your scraping card at about a 45 degree angle and scrape away the polish. Without waiting too long, take your stamper and pick up the image, and I recommend using a slight rolling motion to pick up the image. Right here I'm just putting a paper towel under my stamper so I have a clear view of my stamp so that I can fill it with color. And I'm also taking a piece of tape and removing anything extra that I don't want to end up on my nail. In order to avoid picking up your image when you paint it, I suggest using a tapping motion like I am here and making sure you have a decent amount of polish on your brush or dotting tool. When you do reverse stamping, you need to use sticky base coat for the image to transfer onto your nail. Right here, I am repeating the exact same process as before, just with a different image. Normally, when you are stamping, you need to hurry and place the design on your nail as soon as you pick it up with your stamper. But since we are doing reverse stamping, we will be using sticky base coat to grab that design from the stamper to the nail. As a matter of fact, even if you are just doing basic stamping and not adding any extra color and don't want to feel rushed while placing your designs, go ahead and add a coat of sticky base coat so it keeps your nail tacky and able to grab that design from the stamper. When it comes to full nail designs, I like to coat half or three-fourths of the design before scraping the paint away. Using the same technique as before, I'm removing unwanted parts from the design. Since the pieces that I'm filling in are a little bit bigger on this design, I went ahead and filled in the white pieces with the normal brush of the polish I'm using, which is not milky white from Hollow Taco. When reverse stamping, it is important to make sure the design is completely dry before you add it to your nail or else it will smudge and smear all over the place. And since this design is a full nail design, I'm adding some liquid latex for easy removal of any excess design that ends up around my cuticles. So for this next design, I am using the same technique as before, but I will be adding more colors in the design instead of just white. This is where I think reverse stamping is so fun because there are just endless possibilities on color combinations that you can use. You could use the same design over and over and just use different colors for a completely different style. 
For this design, I'm going in and painting the little ice cream cone brown, and then Snoopy is going to get two strawberry scoops of ice cream, which will be the first and third scoop, and then he's going to get two chocolate scoops of ice cream. For the last design, of course I'm adding Woodstock because Snoopy just isn't Snoopy without his best friend Woodstock. Now to finish this manicure, I'm adding a coat of top coat to each nail to seal in each design. When you do reverse stamping, your designs may look a little lumpy before you add top coat, but once you add top coat, everything just smooths out and it looks beautiful and slick. And here's how these nails turned out. And if you did come from my shorts video, here are the nails that you saw from my right hand. I hope this video was helpful in learning how to do reverse stamping. Thank you for watching.